DJ Hat Pass Pass. Tactical Nuke incoming! What's going on, guys? DJ Hess here, and I'm bringing you guys some uh, Modern Warfare 2 TNT uh, nuke with every assault rifle gameplay, and I'm using the tar this game, and uh, I'm going to start this game out like every other game that I would on Terminal, regardless of having the gun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the, the roof up there. I don't need to, but I always like to use this javelin spot if you guys have not seen it yet. Uh, I had a video called A Nice Way to Start a Game, and I got a six uh, piece from using that spot, and uh, there's nothing better than getting six kills right off the bat. That's always fun. Fortunately, it didn't happen this time, but uh, it doesn't happen all the time. Um, in fact, I didn't get any kills with it this time. But uh, So anyway, let's, let's talk about this TAR a little bit. Now, the TAR is a gun that many people use. I was not aware of the abilities of the TAR for... I want to say six months, if not longer, uh, since the game when when Modern Warfare 2 came out, uh, it was a gun I never even considered using. I, when some of my close buddies said, "Oh yeah, try the tar, it's great," I was like, "You guys, are, I'm like, you're a noob." I'm like, it's all about the scar. The the tar is a piece of crap. The it doesn't aim straight. It's luckily I flash banged that little little thing right there because that guy could, that could have killed me. But um, but for me, I don't know why the uh, Oh, look at that little Olympia bullshit, uh, or, or not Olympia Ranger. Um, for me, I, I thought the tar was kind of a joke, but then using it, it is a strong gun. It is, it's really strong. Medium, medium range, it's a beast. Close range, it's pretty damn good. Long range, it, it does its job. But the only thing that I've noticed is sometimes the recoil kicks up and down, or left or right, or something. It's kind of it feels unpredictable. But because of the way Modern Warfare 2 is, and the hit marker system, like. Even though it doesn't seem like you probably would have hit him, it's like a quick scope. It feels like, like you're able to get the kill, even though it doesn't look like it's uh, it's necessarily hitting the dude. So I, I don't know. That's my take on the tar. It the recoil is is a bit more uh, than what I would want for a gun, um, like the ACR or the the scar. If you're looking at accuracy, those are the better routes to take. Um, and I keep getting like a kill or two or four and then just dying, so, I don't know, it gets annoying. But, uh, but, all in all, like, it's just a, a powerful gun, and it's one that I use, I mean, I use it silenced, and it doesn't feel like it lowers the damage on it. I use it with hardline, uh, so I, I'm not using it, um, look at me, look at this team player, shooting down Harriers and everything. Uh, so, any, yeah, anyway, it's, it just feels like it's one of those guns that, that, um, it just... It feels it feels right, yeah, like it's it's just strong enough. It, it you you can kill people at a distance. Um, if you toggle the the trigger, you can get get enough uh, of a distance on it that you can kill long range. Um, but all in all, it's it's a solid gun. I would rate I would give it like on a scale of one to ten. I would I would rate it like an eight. Um, I wouldn't rate it a ten only because I mean the, the clip size is nice, but the, the, again, the recoil on it just to me just kind of kills it. Now I've never used it without really a silencer. I mean, obviously I need to to get the silencer, but I've never really got used to it um, without without the silencer. Like with regular attachments, uh, it feels like it's shooting more like of an actual gun. But um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, for gameplay, this is a uh, terminal, and this is this is one of my favorite maps. I mean, anytime terminal comes up in in domination, I'm I'm always happy to see that. It is kind of it can be a pain in the ass though from time to time and that is is what, where the money's at right there. I got a nice little quad uh, javelin and so some of you guys are like, oh great, he's gonna have another fucking nuke video where he just gets kills with a javelin and yay. But um, but I get a handful of kills with my gun here and there and then I believe I have to clutch out some more kills at the end again. So uh, you'll see it will be. I think I get more than seven kills with the tar. Um, I try to. Find a gameplay where I got a couple, a handful of kills with it at least, because I do have other gameplays with the tar. Again, because it's just one of those guns that I've used between the ACR and the SCAR, and it's funny that they're all kind of named similar. But um, so I have used it quite a bit. But I don't know um, if you guys can see where I'm hiding right now. I didn't even know this spot existed until like way later. But you can crawl your way back in the corner um, and kind of hide back here. Although it, do it really doesn't serve much of a purpose. And every time I do get back here, it seems like 
somebody from the other team comes back and rapes me uh, before I can wake up, and it's not nice to, to do that when people are are sleeping. Um, but anyway, so let's see. What am I using here? Is this the chopper again? I guess I was on a chopper spree for a little while because AC-130 is usually where I'm at. But in this case, it looks like it's a chopper, and that could have been a quad for if I was using AC-130, but it'll be a single uh, kill for for the, uh, the win there. So it seems like I'm doing okay. I started off with five kills, and I'm trying to kill these little these little bastards back there. Finally got one of them. Um, and there's a nice double. But look at that! The motherfucker shot my shit down already. I was like, "Fuck me!" I'm not gonna be able to pull this one off because they got the C flag, they got the A flag. I'm like, "This guy's gonna hit me!" Don't hit me! So I hug a wall. Like, <laughs> fucking hugging a wall. If if, uh, if you're always if you're ever scared of a uh, of a predator missile, just hug a wall. That's what I recommend doing. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm just, uh, trying to figure out, okay, it looks like they're mostly at A. My team hopefully will be smart enough to go back and capture C so we can predict their spawn, because otherwise they're in between A and C. Looking like they're more towards A because of the hit markers, but, uh, I fall down here and, let's see, I got one extra kill from my gun. Um, let's see how many more I get. This is a good spot. It's always confusing the enemy, so if, if one guy falls down... And then he comes back to revenge kill you, and you move. I don't know if those are the same guy. You move locations. Never stay in the same exact spot every single time he comes back. I mean, you'll end up dying. Just a stupid idea. So you just got to move around, confuse him, and see I move back again. And uh, the guy was rushing me hard there. And so now I'm moving again because I don't know if it's the same guy, but I know that the, someone knows where the fuck I am. So, uh, And I'm going to go back to my javelin spot, and I'm thinking, I'm like, this is going to be an easy nuke, right? Because I have two two javelins. I was like, uh, we have C again, that means they're at A, that means the javelin should should finish it off for me, but I don't know if it was poorly executed to land it on the roof or what, but it ended up not getting anything. So I'm like, come on, give me a fucking, uh, give me a kill. And uh, I mean, I, like I said, you just saw, I had three kills since I uh, got out of my chopper, but, but I was hoping that that other javelin or one of those two would have gotten me a kill, but um, yeah, I'm just just kind of waiting it out and trying to find a good spot. And I should have probably used my claymore to my advantage. I did not use it, and uh, this is always a dumb idea. <laughs> Running up right there because they're always their their sights are always aimed down that hallway. It's just almost uh, well, it isn't almost. It's extremely stupid to do that. And here's me being a little vagina again and running back with with one more uh, with one more javelin shot, thinking I might be able to get another kill with just this javelin. And I gotta be careful because if you didn't notice, I shot underneath that wing and I almost killed myself with that javelin. And I've done that before. And look, at, finally got one more with a javelin, but for some reason I needed another one. And uh, and I hopefully will get it soon. But at this point, I'm going back and trying to use the javelin one more time. I mean, if 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 it's up to me and I'm I'm back here using the javelin, uh, it's a safer distance, I guess, than being really close. And trying to aim down the sights and and shoot back and forth with uh, with the enemy, and luckily that guy came down and uh, I dropped shot and I think I dropped shot. I don't fucking have I don't even know, no idea, but I ended up pulling it off and got the kill. And then that dude finally got came back, got his revenge, but one kill too too late because I was running my uh, my hard line. Pulled off the nuke with the the tar and uh, hopefully you guys like this gameplay. Um, if you guys do, give it a thumbs up. I always like uh, to ask for a thumbs up, especially if, if you, only if you like the gameplay, but you know what I mean. And 38-8, uh, and eight, not a great game, but pulled it off in the end, which is always nice considering we were losing, and it was getting close. So uh, anyway, um, leave a comment, and I'll try to get back to you guys, and hope you guys look forward to the next of uh, the series of uh, the TNT and Nuke with Every Assault Rifle. Uh, hopefully the nuke with L every LMG will be following this. So thanks, guys.